Yo, what up YouTube? Explosive movement patterns here, back again with yet another video, and in this video today, I figured I'd take you guys through a recent workout I did designed to help improve vertical leap and make you jump higher. So I did dynamic warm-up, then as you see here, I'm moving on to these toe bounces, and basically what these are is you're just getting a little bit of knee bend, jumping up, moving slightly forward, and landing on the ball of your foot each time, trying to remain explosive, quick on and off the ground while jumping up high. You're not bending your knees enough to get a full max height jump, but you just are bending your knees ever so slightly enough to get good height while still remaining quick on and off the ground as you see here from the side view. Just going through, quick on and off the ground, slight knee bend, landing on the ball of my foot, making sure I am being quick and explosive. After this, I moved on to some depth drops. I did three sets of five to six, and with depth drops, as you see here, I'm jumping up, landing in a nice athletic position on the ball of my foot, making sure I'm pausing after each landing just to make sure that I am absorbing that force well. Depth drops are pretty much the best exercise for working on absorbing lots of force, and you can only produce a lot of force if you can absorb that force, and depth drops are a great way of doing that. A little bit more of an advanced exercise, but if you have a good base of jump training and weightlifting, this is a great exercise to help improve vertical leap. As you see here, I'm jumping up, landing in a good athletic position, ball of the foot, making sure I'm not moving after each landing. Here you go, another position. As you can see, I'm landing, ball of foot, knees not caving in or anything like that, trying to maintain good, efficient landing mechanics and trying to make sure I am in control with each rep. This rep right here, ball forward a little bit, not a good rep, you wanna make sure you're able to absorb that force. I gather myself and then move on to the next one. Boom, that was a lot better of a rep. Land on the ball of my foot, I was in control, I was able to pause afterwards and just maintain that force and absorb that force in an efficient manner. After these, I moved on to speed single leg bounding. So it's basically just a single leg bound, but instead of focusing on distance, I'm more so focused on being as quick on and off the ground as possible and moving through the 10 bounds as quickly as I can. This is a bit more of an advanced exercise, very intense, but if you can do it, it will help your reactive ability and explosiveness a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much the workout. Hope you guys take something from these exercises, try it out sometime, and help you jump higher and just be a more explosive overall athlete. Explosive movement patterns, signing off. Peace.